Hey guys, today's video is going to be about a tuba ligation. I'm going to show you clips from when I was in the hospital before it happened. I'm going to show you some pictures once I got home and then I'm going to give you an update as of today. Like symptoms, things that change about my menstrual cycle and just everything about it. So stay tuned. I'm currently at the hospital waiting for my tuba ligation. So it took me getting it over, beginning about 10, 15 minutes. I'm going to just give y'all some information on um, just what I had to do to prep. Um, nothing to eat or drink after 12. Actually, I couldn't eat anything after 6, but I could drink stuff until 12 midnight. Um, so, when you get to the hospital, they check in. I'm not sure exactly with everybody was situated, but this just what they done with me. I checked in, got in the room, got an IV started here. So, um, took off all jewelry, rings, earrings, anything metal. If you have any dental work, you know, you need to let them know. Um, I don't, I'm not on medication, so no medicine at all. Um, anyway, so got in, got my IV done. Um, got wiped down, completely wiped down. There's some compression socks I'll show you. Compression socks, you better put on the back. Get the back. Get them in the bag of boxes. just come talk to you and tell you what uh what anesthesia you're gonna receive you know there's you can be laid you know put to sleep you can be given a spinal tap you know just mm -hmm. different methods but for me i'm getting the anesthesia she says she's gonna give me some they're gonna give me some medication for pain nausea also, they're going to put a tube down my throat, and it'll be gone before I wake up, so that's cool. Uh, but I'll check in after everything's done. Once my head comes together, um, I'll talk to you about how I'm feeling and all that stuff. And oh, This is just a little part that they put on your head, like a little see-through body. I guess just to protect your hair. But, okay, I'll come back. Okay, guys, as you just seen, that was a clip from the hospital. I, it was very early in the morning. I had to wake up very, very early. I was hungry because I couldn't eat since 6 o'clock the night before, and I couldn't drink after 12. And my surgery was supposed to be at like 7, so it was like 6.30ish during that clip. I said a lot of ums, so excuse me. Again, I was tired. I was hungry. Them wheels don't be turning like you want it to when you're tired and you're hungry. But, um, I would want to say that nothing really changed too much as I would say as in bad from having a tubal ligation. Um, I know people have, a lot of people have problems with their menstrual cycle, weight gain, things of that nature. As far as weight gain, I would think that I'm still the same. I've never, I've not gained any weight. I've not lost any weight. I've always been this size since having kids. So that's really good. Nothing changed with that. My menstrual cycle, what I would say was great. Because if you go look at my previous videos, I did have a gold laser, gold laser laroscopy. Hope I'm saying that right. Because I had endometriosis. So I did have that cleaned up. And you know what endometriosis you have a lot that's going on with your cycle. It's not regular. Sometimes it's 30 days. Sometimes it's 20 days. Sometimes you get it. You don't get it. It causes infertility and a lot of things of that nature. So I would say I was worried about the tubal ligation, messing it up because I had just finished. Well, you never really finish with endometriosis, but if your doctor go in and scrape and clean you up, you know, it'll help with your fertility. Now, I do have another video explaining to you that process and show pictures shown and all of that. But that's what I was afraid of, the tubal ligation. But it did not do anything but regulate it 
even more. Because like now I start from the 4th to the 6th of the month. In between those two days, never a day early, it's never a day late, it's in between those days. So I can always be prepared, have my little stuff in my bag, take my little medicine, which you know what you mean. Like, you know, like your cramp medicine, you take my all things of that nature. Um, as far as the recovery, honestly, it didn't hurt. Because to me, the incisions were kind of like the gold laser laroscopy. Besides, I had one inside the navel. navel, And again, you'll see that on the pictures previous from this talk. So, as far as the recovery, it was really easy. I had to prescribe some medicine. I didn't need it. Most of it, you know, I got rid of it. As in, brought it to my local pharmacy and they did whatever they do with it. It's kind of like a drop box they have. So, I did that because I really didn't need it. To me, the pain wasn't that bad as far as... I watched a bunch of videos, guys. Your experience is going to be your experience. Your process may not even be the same thing. Your after stuff not might be the same thing. So, if you're thinking about doing it, just keep in mind all bodies are not the same. Some things as women, we experience the same things and some things we don't. So... As far as everything else, um, I would say... The surgery in itself was not long. It was like, I'm going to say I got back to my room at like 9 o'clock. No later than 9 o'clock. I had to take a little time, make sure I was good. I could walk, everything was good. Then I was good to go. So, like I said, always keep in mind to do your research. Look at my video. Look at other people's videos. That's not to say it's going to tell you what's going to happen to you, but it'll give you an idea because some things are the same. But if you're thinking about doing it for whatever reason you're thinking about doing it, for me personally, my reason was I had a lot of things going on with my cycle. And from endometriosis, having endometriosis for years, and then finally getting it taken care of, and before that had a miscarriage, before I knew that, it was just a lot. And once I had my two kids, you know, I wanted to begin another journey. You know, since I've had so many issues with that, now I want to try to focus on some other things in my life, like raising the kids I've got. And, you know, just starting to build a future for us. And I know, me personally, I probably would have had, let's be honest, had at least three or four kids right now. Right now, I only have two. So I kind of wanted to keep it at the two mark. I have a boy, I have a girl. So that's kind of like the... That's the dynamic duo. That's kind of like what a lot of people like. Again, if you have more, you want more, that is great. That is your life. You do what's best for you, just like I did what's best for me. But closing remarks, tubal ligation was great. I didn't have any problems, nothing but good things to say. But the only thing I will, and before I forget, the only thing that I have to say is, just me personally, I get like weird pregnancy symptoms. Like I I get nauseated, food taste change sometimes, and it could not be because of that. But I just wanted to throw that out there in case you do begin to experience that after you have it. You'll, you'll be able to look back and say you've seen somebody who said they experienced the same things. I like real deal get sick. Uh, some things I won't even eat. I get grouchy, like real, real life pregnancy symptoms, but I know I'm not, but because it comes on. But other than that, all things positive. Only one thing that I feel is, I wouldn't say negative, but it's not positive. If you're thinking about doing it, go for it. Do your research. And if you feel like it's the best thing for you to do, do it. And if not, then continue to research. Continue to, to 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 look into it and make sure that you're comfortable with it because it's a lifestyle change. It's something that you would have to pay. For me, I'm on Medicaid, so I didn't have to pay. They paid for it. But if I decide to reverse it, it's going to be like $6,800. And that can be going to my kids, you know. That can be going to something else. Or you may not even have it. So just make sure that's something that you want to do and it's not 100% like they told me because I did check into it. They did tell me it's not 100%. So if you want to reverse, if you're thinking about it, any type of reverse, 
then wait. Think about it. Make sure that's what you want to do. Just know that when you do reverse it, it's not going to be 100%. It may make things a little hard. But in closing, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. On this page, I do video, beauty videos. I do hair reviews. I give you updates on, you know, different surges that I have. So make sure y'all support me. Thank y'all.